Qatar's main focus is to reach a permanent truce between Hamas and Israel. Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel is set to visit Qatar. And finally, the UN General Assembly has called on Israel to withdraw from all occupied territories. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. The truce between Hamas and Israel has entered its sixth day, despite initially being agreed to four days only. Now, Qatar's official spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Majid bin Mohammed Ansari, has stated that Qatar's ultimate goal is to reach a permanent ceasefire that will lead to further negotiations and hopefully for the end of this war. Now, Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel Bermudez, along with an official delegation from Cuba, will be heading to the GCC. As part of the regional tour, the Latin American president will be heading to Qatar, as well as Iran and finally the UAE, where he will take part at the 2023 edition of the United Nations Conference on Climate Change. And finally, the United Nations General Assembly has called on Israel to withdraw from occupied territories in the Syrian Golan. By a recorded vote of 91 in favor to 8 against, some of the 8 which included Australia, the UK, the US and Israel itself, the General Assembly demanded Israel's removal and to resume talks with the Syrian and Lebanese tracks. Israel was also called on to respect commitments reached during previous official UN talks. Well that's all for today. For more stories head over to our website or download our app.